my mom i remember i did have a phase in the middle where she used to tell me you sound a little arrogant in uh, some interviews and i'm like really because i didn't even feel it i didn't even see it i used to argue with her that no it sometimes gives me tasks yeah one day gave me a task of discard something that you don't uh, uh, that doesn't make you happy anymore for the fact that i've never been star struck otherwise on set i would just be like oh you know <laughs> shooting with her i barely had like two scenes with her three scenes yeah. with her so we really never like um, you know broke the ice really i think he's one of the best dressed uh, men in like today's time yeah. you know and i really like like even whether it's on on um, uh, like a red carpet or off or casually when he's traveling Hello everyone this is Aina and welcome to Instant Bollywood I'm with none other than the Param Sundari Kriti Sanand so nice to have you nice to be here with you I with this background music that we'll have throughout this interview so be please yeah. bear with us yeah please bear with us i want to start up by asking that you know uh, i've seen my tall friends always flex about their height and you know be the sneaker girl that they are uh, have you also been that person who kind of always ditched her heels always because there was sneaker you i hardly wear heels i wear heels when i'm obviously on the red carpet and i need to wear yeah but even if i'm say wearing a sari on the red carpet you will never see me in heels yeah 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 So I, I like my flats. I like my shoes. I like my sneakers. Totally that. Nice. You know, I feel like because this is a walk on. I think you have walked so many parts in your life, and it's literally made me think that you know when I see the Kriti when she started versus the Kriti now, you've only become confident. But one thing that has stayed constant when I see your interviews is how grounded and humble you still are. You know, you have a skin skincare brand. You are. to fitness you have that you're an actor you're doing so well in life how have you managed to still give that homely vibe i mean i think that's just me i i don't see any other way of behaving rather than being real like i, I mean other than being real i feel like for me i am that middle class simple girl i've always been you know and uh, what really grounds you is uh, your family yeah is having real people around you um is having people around you who who tell you if you're behaving differently yeah uh, you know and my mom i remember i did have a phase in the middle where she used to tell me you sound a little arrogant in uh, some interviews and i'm like really because i didn't even feel it i didn't even see it i used to argue with her that no it's you're wrong yeah you know? but uh, sometimes you just need that check mm. for because of her i was like oh am i sounding this because i don't want to nor am i this person Mm. So I think it's just important to have people around you who are real with you, who don't treat you as the star, mm. who treat you normally. Mm. Uh, and I'm I'm that person at home, meaning my mother's like, you don't even look like an actress when you're at home. So I'm <laughs> I'm that jhalla person at home. No, that's lovely. I think that's what connects with people the most. Even the fact that you've mentioned that you know, uh, I love. being restless no matter what i yeah. achieve and you've already achieved so much and you're happy restless happy restless yeah. that's what you said uh you know now i want to i'm curious to know what are you journaling what is your achievement what is your goal you know i've stopped journaling actually i i i'm i'm being honest i don't want to yeah. like say oh i'm journaling when i'm not um i think i have phases like everyone does uh, so i've had phases when i was journaling regularly then i had phases when i had this diary which was a 5 minute journal that you know um uh, had very specific things for me to write you know what yeah, like today what was what was something that you could have done better what did you do better uh, what did you do well yeah. you know, things like that what are you grateful for and also i used to fill in that 5 minute journal yeah. and <laughs> one day um, and it sometimes gives me tasks yeah one day gave me a task of discard something that you don't Uh, uh that doesn't make you happy anymore and yeah. i was realizing that i was forcing myself to journal yeah. and i discarded the journal for that time <laughs> so so i think you have to uh, be true to what you're feeling you yeah know? so i started meditating maybe that's the reason why i'm not journaling right now yeah. you know because i think i'm taking care of my mental health in some other way um having said that i do have some days which was like you know day before i think where i was just feeling a lot of things and a lot of emotions and there was too much in my mind mm. 
and that time i felt like journaling so i took out the diary i wrote what i was feeling and i just packed it back and i put it aside so i i don't feel like i don't journal every single day now yeah but i journal when i feel the need to write something so i think i've kept it very free flowing free flowing yeah that's the way it yeah. should be yeah so i have one last question i have to ask you this before we jump into a quick rapid fire you have really exciting projects coming up dhopati there's the crew uh, you know especially in crew there are there's kajol uh, there's tabu ma'am and kareena ma'am and dhopati has kajol ma'am so you know the energies are so different in crew did you ever think that uh, how is it going to be like on set to be with bebo and tabu ma'am and also reuniting with kajol and you said that you know when you shot dilwale with her you were quite naive yeah. and you are more confident and better now do you think that uh, in what way have you actually matured and you know that naiveness has gone in what way do you call I mean, yourself I'm still naive? sort of naive i think what has changed is the confidence uh, i think i've become more confident now obviously when i entered the industry i was really raw and new and not being from a film background you don't know anybody and you know um thank god for the fact that i've never been star struck otherwise on set i would just be like oh you know yeah. so i've never been star struck which is why i think i was calm mm. and i could do my work yeah. but i was still figuring uh, you know um what was acting all about yeah i was still figuring my process i was figuring my craft i was figuring the way i deliver dialogues you know i was figuring uh, uh how the shooting process is like you know mm. so i think I have figured some stuff mm. through the journey, you know. So obviously, when I was working with Kajol Ma, um, and we were discussing the fact that we hardly shot together during Delwale. Yeah. You know, we all felt like we shot a lot, but with me, like shooting with her, I barely had like two scenes with her, three scenes yeah. with her. So we really never like, um, you know, broke the ice really at that point. Also, mm. I was pretty shy. I was quiet. Yeah. And she's she's herself. She's she's, she's so much fun. Yeah. She's a lot of energy and all. Yeah. Um. Uh, but uh, this time uh, i think you know we kind of broke the ice i think we've had a lot more scenes a lot more powerful scenes strong scenes together and just collaborating with her again she's such a positive energy and yeah. she's she's all in for the scene you know and i love that about her like she she would sort of uh, you know even tell me if she feels that i should do something differently in the scene um or if i do something right she would appreciate you know so she she is like She's not just okay. I'm doing my own work and I'm going. You know, and yeah. I love that. She's. I think she's totally for the scene. She wants to make the scene work. I had a great time working with her on Dupati so far. We're like, looking forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we've had some like really nice scenes together. So you know, this time I really felt like I worked with her. I'm excited for that. Yeah. But before you go, a quick rapid fire. So I want to ask you the best thing or the best way to style your sneakers. I love wearing like you know uh, any kind of uh, denims. I love like really uh, baggy denims, mm. uh, you know, with like a tank or something, or uh, like hot shorts with like a uh, really loose sweatshirts. That that's me. <laughs> like hot shorts and sweatshirt is me. Yeah, that's a comfortable yeah. vibe. If you had to gift a pair of sneakers, who would you gift? If I have to gift it to somebody, yeah. Um, I mean, my sneakers or any sneakers? Any sneakers. I mean, someone who really loves sneakers, yeah. I who would that be? I mean, who loves sneakers? I feel like I only know of Ranbir who loves sneakers. I've heard, and this also I've heard in interviews. Yeah, yeah, he so, loves. Yeah, so I would probably like. Yeah, I can give to a pair. Ranbir Kapoor. Okay. Uh, who do you think has the best fashion sense in the industry, according to you, or whose fashion sense do you like? Uh, I mean, there are lots of people. Yeah. Should I name a guy for a change? Yeah. I really. uh mean this so i uh, rithik definitely someone whose fashion sense i've loved uh i also like tiger's fashion sense uh but shahid i feel his fashion sense is so underrated i think he's so well dressed yeah i think he's one of the best dressed uh men in like today's time yeah. you know and i really like like even whether it's on on um uh like a red carpet or off or casually when he's traveling or when you see when i met him like for a meeting or whatever yeah. you know even if it's something very simple it's just effortless but it's put together with there's something really nice about yeah. it i told him also i complimented him he's recently. basic but not basic it's like that i feel i love that he wears colors yeah yeah i i i mean otherwise mostly men you see in like white blue gray black <laughs> you know i love yeah. that he wears this like 
you know purple sometimes yellow sometimes i love that you know two of us have have never worked together before yeah. we were supposed to very long back and uh, that didn't happen yeah uh, and finally we got a chance to work together and i i think we we share great chemistry Yeah. You know, and uh, he's someone I'm very fond of. So I'm really looking forward to the release. Two youngsters who wear these, you know, cool neon colors. Uh, yeah. You know, and prints. So yeah. I feel like it, there's a sketches for everyone. Awesome. Thank you so much. It was so lovely talking to you, and I hope we can talk longer very longer. soon. Next time for sure. Next time for sure. And we'll see you super soon.